And just like that, ALGS year number four is officially underway at least as far as qualifiers are concerned. And we already have our first team to earn their spot in ALGS for year four in the APAC South region. But talk about a finals lobby filled with twists and turns. A team that initially started off as a duo would finish top three. Two wins and a 21 point finish aren't enough to push past top two as five top fives paved the way for MDYB to secure their spot in the upcoming season of ALGS. But let's get down and do what it do, PLQ number one TLDR Apex South Edition. And I didn't get a chance to watch the finals live this weekend since I was on the road for the holidays, but I will most definitely be checking out weeks two, three, and four with some watch parties. So if you're wanting to catch ALGS action live as well as weekly update videos just like this, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and turning those notifications on. And just like other regions in week number one that will be breaking down these next few days, the competition seems stacked. We're talking about plenty of teams showing up to play, slaying their way through several lobbies to make it to the finals. And we saw that keep going didn't take long to get going, able to put themselves in beautiful high ground positioning and really letting the rest of the end game come to them. 16 kills and a first place finish put the squad at 28 points. KPG still burning from the height. Four squads left. There goes Ocean Turtle. Really wasn't sure what their plan is. They might have wanted to try to dunk on KPG. Just something. There's going to be Su2 tap. SYB, I think, uh, next out of the lobby. And now... And now keep going. Just still beaming. They've got Kill Devil below them. They've got everyone below them. Smartly moving to the height still. That not reasonable. What the heck? An S... YB are eliminated, it's now just, I think one gamer and keep going, takes it from the high ground. KPG on top. But could they keep that pace going? That would be the real challenge. And after having to play game one as a duo, M and K were able to bounce back in game two with a strong 11 kill win, securing themselves great positioning as well, which would prove to be too much for MDYB to be able to rotate into for the final zone. And after wiping the last squad, only needing to hunt down those final solos makes it an easy dub for M and K. And even though they would only have just five points after the first two games, it would be MXF who would start their comeback in game number three. And while they didn't have much to their name as far as KP is concerned when that final circle started closing, they'd be able to pretty well clean up house in the top four situation they played themselves into, giving them not only the dub, but getting them 20 much needed points along the way as well. And MXF would actually find themselves an end game in game number four as well, but it was an absolute mess of a final circle. We're talking about teams on every single level, over at stacks as the final circle was closing in, but inevitably, in a close scrappy end fight, it was MDY, BYD, able to pull things off and putting themselves in first place with just two games left. But game number five would actually give a glimmer of hope to both Temperature X and Memento, who finished top two, and both finishing with 20 plus points, meaning with a duplicate performance in game six, either team could potentially find themselves securing their spot for Pro League. And realistically, going into game six, it was still anyone's game, but inevitably, it was MDYB who controlled their destiny with the consistency that they had shown thus far, finishing top five in the last four games. And I don't know what it was about final games on a map, but in the finals, it kicked in that clutch gene for MXF, trying to come back from almost 20 points down, heading into the final drop ship. That ultimate comes in, Horizon Ult, Conduit Ult, everything comes out now. Oh, the only problem is you got your teammates in the goddamn way. Kill Devil still on elevation, MDY ready, just getting farmed in this end game a little bit. They've used all their ultimates. But there is nowhere for them to play with. But suddenly, Lohan is down. Now beaming to the sky. We're just battling in the air here. Oh, just kick him out into the ring. He's trying to get back. I don't think he can. MXF, take it. But I don't think they've done enough to win the day. And even though they tried so hard and got so far, in the end, it just doesn't even matter as MXF would still finish second.
But I have heard that sometimes you have to fall to lose it all because in the end, it just doesn't even matter because the good news is their performance puts them off to a great start when it comes to those preseason points. And since it does seem that Apex South does their semifinals the same night as their grand finals, meaning that it makes it Saturday night into Sunday evening for your boy, the next three weeks, that's what we'll be hanging out right here to see who's going to take those next few qualifying spots. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button to not only tune into some action live, but also to catch other breakdown videos just like this one for every region every week during the regular season. And so we catch y'all back for the next one, man. Don't forget, with everything crazy going on in the world today, be true, be you, be sincere. Game hard and love harder. It's your boy Q, signing out.